Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and I'm continuing to look for new and innovative USB Type-C products and I've got a quick one today from SanDisk that uh, I think is going to solve a lot of problems for folks who are struggling to uh, get all of their devices working with their new MacBooks and some of the new Windows computers that only have these Type-C ports. And uh, I did a video called the USB Type-C Survival Guide a little while ago where I showed you how you can buy some cables to solve problems very inexpensively, but one of the big issues has been USB flash sticks. So as you know, most of these little flash drives have a regular USB 3 port on there. They certainly won't fit into the MacBook. And in that survival guide, I had these little adapters that you could use to uh, kind of make that work, but it was very clunky in that you certainly will lose the adapters. I already lost one of these things already, and it looks kind of weird here when you've got it all hanging out the side of the laptop like that. So I wanted to find something that uh, would make it a little easier, and I was browsing uh, B&H Photo the other day, and they had a sale on some SanDisk products, and I found this thing. This has been out for a while, I guess. I just first heard about it. Uh, this is the SanDisk 64 gigabyte ultra dual drive, and uh, you've got a USB Type-C connector on this end, and then over here, you've got the regular USB connector, so you can use it with both the old and the new, not at the same time, of course, but it does make it a lot easier. So I can just pop it into my Mac here, and that is all you have to do. We're going to take a closer look at how this works in just a second, but I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for this with my own funds. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. Now, these little drives start at about $18 for the 16-gig version, and it goes up to 128 gigs at $43. This one at 64 is 27 bucks probably the sweet spot for the uh, product line here. And it actually performs pretty well. Take a look at my disk speed test. We're writing at about 80 megabytes per second and reading very consistently at about 148, 150 megabytes per second. So it will certainly copy files off of your uh, stick faster than you will write them to it, but it is still uh, quite fast for a low cost USB stick. That was impressive. I'm gonna uh, copy a movie file over here real quick. This is a, a file that I uh, made on my YouTube channel because I'm going to plug it into my Android phone next. I've got one of these OnePlus 3s that has a USB Type-C connector, so let's see if it will work on there. All right, so we've got our Android phone here running with a file manager. I'm going to take the stick out here, extend the USB Type-C connector, and just plug it into the bottom of the phone. No adapter required, obviously, because this does have the USB Type-C port on there. You can see it found that stick. I can go and find the uh, video that I put on there. I'll go and pop into gallery now, and we're playing back uh, the video that we copied over to the Mac, from the Mac. Uh, very simple, and uh, gets it all up and running very quickly. So that's going to do it for the SanDisk Ultra Dual Drive. You get the ability to plug into your USB Type-C devices without an adapter, yet you still have uh, the legacy adapter here for your old stuff. Really nice and convenient. And I'm always on the lookout uh, for these little USB-C adapters and other doodads that go along with that new connection standard because I'm living with this now and I always want to help you all find things to make your lives easier as you transition to this new format. So let me know down in the comments below what you found. And this is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger and Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.